Good morning, Retro Commanders, and welcome back to the Retro Stream. It's going to be back. We haven't been here for two weeks because I wasn't here. So if there's no me, there's no Retro Stream by me. Obviously, that's fairly logical, isn't it? So, but never mind. Things are back to normal. Well, approaching a state that could possibly be described as normal. Uh, <laughs> but normal's boring anyway. Who wants normal, right? Uh, <laughs> um, it's all chaos here at the Wigger Household because one of our cars has gone wrong. And I did attempt to fix it yesterday, which unfortunately resulted in my Star Citizen stream being cancelled at short notice. Uh, but that didn't quite go to plan either, because um, my son, who works at the garage, who's actually quite jolly handy, um, actually managed to injure himself yesterday. So, which resulted in a, in a trip to A&E and &E, you know, a mad dash through the night um, to go rescue him from the clutches of the NHS. So, uh, but all's okay this morning, except I haven't fixed the car yet, so that's now my job for this afternoon. In the rain, even better. <laughs> Yay! The life of a, a top a top XP on the Frontier streamer. Uh, it's jolly exciting, if that's all I can say. Um, so anyway, how are you all going? It's good to be back. It's good to be back. We are here, obviously, to play some more um, uh, XP on the Frontier. It should all be good. Um, <laughs> that's the plan, anyway. Uh, what, what will actually happen this morning? Who knows? I mean, who knows? It, it, we, we live in a universe of possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> Only some of them that actually work. Um, anyway, right, let's do the thing because the thing is the thing and the thing must be done. Who do we have on the stream this morning? We have the Harkonnens <laughs> invading Iraq is really, really first thing in the morning. Um, that's a bit unfair. <laughs> if you're going to invade a planet, I mean, um, you know, <laughs> do it at a reasonable hour, surely. <laughs> it will be up too early in the a.m. trying to <laughs> fend off the invasion of the Harkonnens. Anyway, there we go, the Harkonnens are here. First thing of the morning. Wintermute GB is here, of course. Of course he is. <laughs> very, very keen in the chat again. Erid and Dundragon is here. Come on, the Kelvinator is here. The funny asteroid is here as well, because it's never a good space game without a funny asteroid. Um, John Embry is here. Zelos Corvus is here. Mad Monksoft is here. Motherfig is here. Commander Tragic Blue is here. Eddie Gabish is here, which is good. Commander Duskthorn is here. <laughs> Boo boo, yay! Manic Miner is here. Tech Village is here. Killy Bagdor is here because he thinks again. Uh, the Big Boo, sponsor of X Beyond the Frontier. The number one, shall I say, X Beyond Frontier stream on Twitch, on the whole of Twitch. Um, uh, sponsor of the stream. Great thanks to Big Boo. Good to see you this morning, sir. Uh, right. <laughs> 
and the, uh, a sage counsel there from Frank Minor. If your brakes don't work, you don't want to go down here. Well, interesting enough, we we um, I t you know as, as you do with cars, um, I took the front wheels off and inspected the front brakes and discovered they were all fine. Um, and my wife had been play complaining about the squeaky noise coming from the car, um, and I drove it and thought well, it's definitely squeaking from somewhere. Um, so I took all the front wheels off and front and had a look at the front brake calipers and everything, and all the brakes were fine. Um, you know, as 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 they are. And then I took the the back ones off <laughs> and discovered um, basically that the back brake pads were about the same consistency as wafer thin mints. Um, in fact, bits of metal were showing, and I thought, mm, not so great. <laughs> So anyway, we uh, <laughs> that's something that we need to fix this afternoon. So we, we shall be fixing it um, uh, with, a, with a bit of luck. So that's all good. Anyway, um, <laughs> right. So we we need to get on with the game. The game the game is the game, and we must go play the game now. Um, I'm hoping uh, Big Boo, and I know he has because he's he's, he's just brilliant. I mean, the, the, what else could we say about the Big Boo? He is he gives us games. <laughs> he writes all the all the stuff for me. I mean, <laughs> I shouldn't take any credit for any of these streams because. Um, um, <laughs> everybody else does everything for me, to be honest. It's it's really good. Uh, so the Big Boo has, as per usual, um, here we go, uh, written up the previously on XB on the Frontier, because, which is which is excellent, because I can't remember. A, it was two weeks ago, so I definitely can't remember. And B, I can't remember last week anyway. Uh, so, so there we go. Um, um, all the front wheels. <laughs> yes, sorry, I suppose there's only two front wheels, aren't there? Uh, but it was the back wheels that were of concern. Uh, uh, right, so we are... Um, well, we'd, we'd done quite a lot last time, hadn't we? Um, we were on a quest, I think, to go and get the Super Duper Ultra Lasers, or whatever they're called, the Gamma HEP Lasers. Um, but we hadn't quite got there. Um, from what I recall, so let's 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 read. Previously on Drew Plays XP on the Frontier, we found the jump gate back to Earth, but it was ruined. That's it. Okay, yep. When we reported in, we found that the Argon have a plan to attack the Xenon <laughs> and, and other noble gases, um, and we're going to play a key role. Woo da, 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 da. Um, there should be some bump, 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 bump. I need a I need a bump, 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 bump button, don't I? That's what I need. <laughs> I need to have like a little set of stings. Um, uh, we must destroy their power plants so that they are weakened enough for a full-on attack. Before we go in, we want to get some Gamma HEPTs and some Hornet missiles to make sure we're fully kitted out for the mission. But we'll need some more money. So the mon money was the thing. We don't want to meet the Neons this morning. Yes, that's right. <laughs> uh, morning, Biff Boy. Morning, the Landra. Good to see you all both on the stream as well. Um, so four sectors yet to visit. Uh, uh, you, uh, you will address some of that today. Yeah, so there's only a few places left we haven't been actually um well presumably before based on that map <laughs> that seems a bit uh, so yes big boo official mapper <laughs> and coordinator of the stream um oh is it six or seven? Oh no there's some ones at the bottom aren't there yeah which we haven't been in the paradid zone so that's so seven systems we haven't visited um so that's quite good uh so let's jump into the game of find out um, okay, hang on. So the current mission is destroy the Xenon power plants in the sector south of Atreus Clouds, which is... Uh, where's Atreus, Atreus Clouds? Uh, there, with that one. Okay, so we haven't actually been into it yet, so it's the one south of the Borons. Um, then go back to Bandana in the wall on the Argon 1 carrier and report in. Okay, so basically we've got to destroy the power plants and then go back to Bandana. Ask each Rotor's M1 carry for help if we want support when entering enemy territory. We've already asked the Taladi. Okay, so that's good. Well, let's see where we are in terms of getting our um, our ship into a place where it's actually acting reasonable. Right, give me a moment while I do the figuring out the graphics mode. Uh, it is 16. We should know this by now. It's 16, isn't it? That we use there we go 16 boom with a bit of luck if i can get you guys back on the screen where are you we go back oh where's x gone there it is yay <laughs> um right so let's load the game now weren't weren't we from what i remember we were trying to um Hear the game. 
Salvage okay. insurance allows a recoverable program to be put into operation uh, that I will think. enable the pilot to retrieve vital um, data and credits they have amassed so far. <laughs> I think you should check a leaf out either time I'm dead to the business book and charge you eight pounds a month. <laughs> this insurance policy is well worth Excellent. taking Don't out give him ideas. each trading mission or journey as it protects a ship and its pilot from the Right, so we have a certain amount of cash. And knowledge they have gained. Weren't we going to go and sell the current weapons? Although we, I don't think we've got enough cash for both, have we? How much How much are they? Let's just go back to Big Boo's Discordy thing for a moment. Uh, oh, no, that's not Discord. Discord's over here. Right. Um, so the, the Gamma HEPs are, are 691 each. So I've only got enough for one at the moment. Was there a plan? Yes, was there a plan to buy a new station? Yeah. Um, okay, so... I need 1.2 million to buy the weapons. I'm going to sell the two. That gives me 300k, but I'm still short 300k. Um, there we go. Big Boo says we need 1.4 million credits, but we can sell for 288. Yeah, they can be bought from Cloud Base Northwest, but we need to sell our existing one somewhere first. The system's paranoid prime and Emperor's Ridge sell Hornet missiles. Okay, so, but it still sounds to me like cash is the problem. Is that is that fair? <laughs> Uh, ZX81, yeah, I'm afraid you missed the thing because the thing is the thing and the thing is, has to be done. We have done the thing. It has been done already. Um, apologies, yes. We are nine minutes late, my friend. What do you expect? <laughs> we, run on a, we run on a tight schedule here. Uh, it's the only thing good <laughs> and reliable about this stream, to be honest. But there we go. Right. Um, uh, okay, so we've got 681. Now, and where are we? We're on Tuladi Space. So cash is an issue, Kelly Bagglar says. Okay, so suggestions on cash, my friends. While well, I get the ship ready to rock and roll. He has a tight schedule. My waffling has been cut down. Well, the waffle's still there. Uh, <laughs> shame you missed it, says Frank. I was spectacular. He was. It was. It was. It was. It was. A, it was a thing of beauty. Um, so I think from last week's session, I cleaned out all of my. Oh, I've done that thing where I haven't put the the yaw and the roll in the right axes. Is that something I can change? I don't think I can from here, can I? Um, never mind, I'll just have to navigate the ship the best I can. Um, so had I cleaned out all of my my um, my thingies? Let's have a look at the map, um, which I can't see because lots of bright stars in the way. Uh, I think I had... No rockets. No oh, rockets. That's just. Is that my. No aim, yeah, no. <laughs> is that my refinery up there? No, it's not. Is Target it? now locked on Sun Oil Refinery Beta. Is that my one? That was my. Target now locked on silicon mine. Yes. Dot. Successfully let's go, docked. Just, let's go check that out and just see where we are. I can't remember. I, I, I think we probably did clean them out. Um, I imagine, but let's... Interesting enough, <laughs> the short code name for this space station is YMIKS. So it's Yamix. is the main mineral resource <laughs> My station that is all modern Yamix. technology foods uh, are based on. <laughs> Which is slightly ironic. Uh, right, okay, so no, it looks like we did do this. So we that haven't got enough cash for all the guns yet. Can be transferred to which, your is, account. which is a bit annoying. Also, credits uh, from your account can be so transferred is there, to the factory. So is it worth us so <laughs> immersion? <laughs> you can buy resources. Is it? <laughs> um, that's quite funny. Um, yeah, look, it says Yamix 83, <laughs> which is probably about when he was born, isn't it? <laughs> no. Um, so suggestions on cash my friends because that's clearly the limiting factor at the moment now are we going to be able to do anything like that in the midst of this stream i don't know uh, we can we can of course go backwards and forwards to our base in the other zone because unfortunately our, our, our money making bases um are very much um quite separated aren't they it takes us quite a while to go there um I can't remember what my plan was. Was it to buy the gammas, or was it to try and make the run on the power plant with with the beaters that we've got? These ones. 
Um, I can't remember what the, what the what the why is. So get into drugs and buy a dream farm. <laughs> Um, Kelly Bagley, you could build a couple more wheat farms and then go and visit the systems you haven't seen. Okay, so it builds a couple of wheat farms. What, kind of here? Um, <laughs> no wonder yeah, makes it so bitter, yeah. <laughs> Poor fella. Um, um, I could get into drugs by a dream. So, so what, what do we think? Drugs or wheat farms? Uh, whatever you need to, so you could use the phrase Drew Wicker buys the farm again. Uh, we're in Taladi space, so you could just buy one. Yeah, we see, he's a <laughs> drugs man. <laughs> I think we should do the drugs since we're in Taladi space. Okay, um, and then let's go and wreck, wreck all the remaining systems. Shall we do that today? I think that makes sense. Because, and then maybe next week is kind of maximum upgrade guns, pew pew, etc. Because I don't want to have one gun. Um, I want Asymmetrical spaceships, I, I don't do. Uh, drugs was always the best way. To, it was, wasn't it? So that maybe that's maybe that's a hint. So where do I build a dream farm? Is that here in Taladi space? Um, shall I build it near to my solar power plant thingy? Because then I can kind of go between them quite closely. So let's let's head. Although I've got to find the. I've got to find the. Um, uh, the freighter, haven't I? Is that in this system? What what does the what does the freighter look like? I've forgotten. Is that that red dot? I'm trying to remember now. So let's let's build a dream farm. The small rectangle bottom. Oh, that one, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's try and orientate ourselves around. Let's go and ask it. follow us. So we'll go through one jump gate then. I suppose I could build it into this one actually, it doesn't really matter does it? I'll just build it here. Where is it? It should be ahead of us, but I can't see it. No oh, aim. Is. No aim, yay! Target now locked on. I want you to transport something. Okay. That will be 500 credits for every gate we're passing. Oh, this is a bad deal for you, my friend, because we won't be passing any gates. Sure, <laughs> sure, we have a deal. Please follow me. Because I'm going to do it in this system. We'll follow you and get our money at each gate. He's not, he's not, very, he's not very good. Actually, I'm making point. He should basically say that should be a thousand credits plus every gate that we go through. That's that's the way to make profits in this game, my friend. You're a, you're a fool, but I'm going to take advantage of your lack of financial acumen. <laughs> right, where do I go now? Am I going to this? Am I going to this now, thing here? On. Tell Adi, shipyard. The shipyard. Alpha. Is that where? Is that where I buy the the farm? Uh, the the drugs palace thing? Right, okay. Uh. <laughs> Successfully docked. My ransom is one million dollars. I'll just pay the man. Yeah. The Taladi company are delighted for the opportunity to make great profits with The better rep you have to lower the cost. Ah, don't worry, that's quite a good deal. Because basically, I'm, I'm, I'm friendly number one with the, with the Taladi. They're my best buddy. They did sort of rescue me in the early days, so I feel, I feel reasonably fondly to the old Taladi. Right, okay, so... Flower farms are large There's the dream farm, right. Computer, what is a dream farm? Due to the fact that the Taladi swamp plant has been outlawed by all other races in the universe, Taladian dream farms are small farms where the Taladi grow the plant in secret. The plant itself, a small moss, needs very little horticulture and grows in dark, damp conditions. Okay, so... <laughs> company direct away here. Okay, so presumably I'll buy a dream farm then. Let's do that. Dream farm bought. Okay. Uh, and 
then I go back out of the space station, I think. And I'm going to park it next to my other thing, if that makes sense. Which is, where is it? Is that it there? Oh, I find this quite hard. Still, even now, I find this really hard to navigate. Which one is my... Where's me? Where's me? Is it a weak file? I can't be mother, mate. <laughs> Drug lord, yes. <laughs> where's where's my? Uh, I was near it, so where is it? Is it back over there somewhere? There's a yellow box around it on the map. Is it that one? Is that it down there? Must be down there. Target now locked on to Lobby Space Equipment Dock. That's the Space Equipment Dock. So where's, is that it there behind me? There we go, that must be it there. Target now locked on, silicon mine. There we go, the silicon mine, right. I'm gonna park near the silicon mine. Okay, so let's come to a halt here and then Presumably I'll wait for the freighter to catch me up. This is your silicone mine. Please well, Alpha. You are talking to the automated interaction system. Make your where's request. The, where's the freighter? I can't see him now. Oh, there he is. Right, the freighter is nearby. Right, the freighter is behind me somewhere there. Oh, was that thing? <laughs> I hope the freighter's right on top of me. Target now locked on to Ladi Albatross. Right. The captain to pilots. How can we obtain a profit together? Alright, please drop my freight here. Albatross to pilots. We haven't got enough room to unload your cargo here. Look oh. for another place. We're too close. Oh, that's quite cool. Okay. So, we're too close to my existing facility. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go a bit that way. No aim. No oh, aim. Target now locked on, silicon mine. Target now locked on, asteroid. Target now locked on, Dudes, asteroid. over here. Oh, it wasn't the way I was facing. Now that Richard... Freighter has wandered off. Let's try that again then. Right, Mr. Freighter. Dude, where are you? No, he's just... <laughs> Now he's at range. Dude, where are you going? To be up the other end of space. Where are you? Where are you going? Target now locked on to Ladi Albatross. Right. I need to, now. I need to fly all the way back up to where I was, which is now I've lost. Oh, stupid Ladi. Right back up there. Okay, let's get back up. There. No aim. Oh, that runs out. Of, oh, really? What do I have to wait for it to come back round? 
put it up here, near my other thing. Target now locked on Actually, silicon mine. Epix is silicon mine. Uh, <laughs> I need to let know about that at some point. Um, right, hang on, it's coming back, I think. Is he moving? Oh, he's just sitting there. <laughs> Up here. Hello! He's moving very slowly, I think. Uh, you can ask it to fall. Yeah, but, oh, there we go. There we go. Yay! Excellent. No worries, dude. Right, here we go. Right, now we get a nice little cutscene of my my dream farm being being un <laughs> my dream farm from IKEA <laughs> being unpackaged. Look at this little robot things doing their stuff. It's pretty cool. This actually, it's kind of like. It's got a slight homeworld vibe, hasn't it? Look at them go. Presumably this must take several weeks in real time. And then it takes a few minutes in game time. The magic of the magic of gameplay. Look, there's a massive girder being put into place there, that's quite cool. There we go. Jobs are good. Right, we have a look at that! We have a dream farm, which is nearby. Look at this. See, this is this is proper cosmic planning. There's my whatever that was. Is that my silicon mine? Target now locked on silicon yeah, that's, mine. That's Yemix, the silicon mine. This is the amazing Target Dreamwaker dream now farm. Locked on dream farm. Yay! Let's go check out the dream farm. Successfully docked. Welcome back to your dream farm. Welcome back to your dream farm. Even bots you could hire would be good. Yeah, so that that's quite good. Okay, so this is the dream farm where we're making dodgy illegal stuff. Yay! <laughs> dodgy illegal stuff is us. Now oh, this is why bit if connection to local right. Okay, network. so presumably we need to buy another freighter. Is that right? Which is the the vulture, isn't it? So do I just need? Do I just need the one freighter? You can order transport to help you transport the necessary resources to this factory. After you order one or more transporters from the shipyard that manufactured this factory, these transport ships will fly to this factory and work for you. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so how? But so questions for the chat: How many freighters? Um, how many credits do I need to leave here? And what prices should I set? Okay, go. <laughs> See, I'm keeping you awake this morning. I know you probably only just about had your coffee, but yeah, there's work to be done, guys. So, you know, <laughs> you've got to earn your keep on this stream. You know, <laughs> you don't just get to sit back and watch. You need to have to contribute, okay? So come on, with the intel, my friends. One vulture. Right, there we go, John Emery. Good stuff. Right, one vulture, one vulture coming up. Right, there we go, one vulture. Transporter there we are. <laughs> ordered at shipyard. One, yeah, okay, so one freighter, 10k, yeah. Okay, so credits 10k to the station. Well, I can only do 20, apparently. Funds so there we go. Transferred. You only need to buy energy the cells. The that this factory made by selling its products can be transferred. Okay, so how many energy cells should I, should I buy? Energy cells are the unified energy storage used throughout the whole known okay, universe. So. The unification of the energy storage oh, specifications also. allow for interstellar trading with this most basic... I don't have to change level. anything, okay. So I can't change anything. Okay, so selling price, buying price limit, the freighter will do it. Okay, so is energy sell price 16 sensible? It doesn't have to do any jumps, so... You can specify at which price the freighters working for this factory should buy resources. Yeah, okay. Any, shall I leave the default? So we're selling... Swamps plants at 120 credits. You can specify at and, which and contribute to the local drug problem in the Taladi space. Your <laughs> if your price is competitive, it is more likely a swamp plant is in high demand. Seeing up the price, okay. What do we suggest factory. then? Um, go with 18 on the on the energy cells. Okay. There we go. 18 is selected. 
Um, what about swamp plants? Shall I, shall I max it up? 140? 150? 152 is the maximum I can go to. Uh, what do we reckon? Because we've got maximum, <laughs> clearly we've got maximum profits. Uh, what do we think? What do we think? <laughs> the chat ruminates. Dun, 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 dun. Everyone's gone really quiet now. Everyone's going, I don't know, I don't know, what do, I, what do we do? I don't want to be wrong, because it will be forever, <laughs> forever kept on the internet. <laughs> I advise the wrong number. Um, okay, so 120 is the default price. 120, I'd go with 140, we need to do a conference. Everyone to the conference room. <laughs> Let's go with 140, Let's see how well that works for us, shall we? Um, some plant go about 75, so that 75 would be 136. <laughs> so they say what we're working. I second Big Boo. Okay, so we've had one vote for one, yeah, so 136, 138, or one, 140 is a nice round number. Let's, let's go with that. New price selected. Let's see how that happens. So we okay, so we're, we're top quality swamp plant, that's what we are. Right, okay. <laughs> so that hopefully will go and make us some money. Uh, on the way around. Okay, so let's let's leave that to do its thing. Um, looking at the map, then we have got um, <laughs> quality drugs. Yeah, uh, don't do drugs, children. Okay, <laughs> just just saying. Disclaimer. Why are all space games full of drugs? There's a message in there, isn't there? Um, so on the way back, now we've got. Where where where's my um other thing the <laughs> i've got a silicon mine and a solar power plant here in Tiladi space now i've got a, a dream farm as well i've got the other thing down here haven't i which what did i make down there i can't remember what it was it's somewhere down here um <laughs> if you're gonna do drugs make sure you're selling them not buying them <laughs> top community advice there yeah uh <laughs> that's right we've got we've got a thing in argon prime haven't we so um is it? I mean, that we could. I don't really want to go through Xenon space again because that's a that's a fact. There is this gap here, a place we haven't explored. I don't know if that's even worth exploring. Really, we should definitely do this one. Um, what what is, is this? Is there worthwhile stuff in these other sectors, or is it just a case of making sure we complete the map? Um, I think we should go back to Argon Prime and clear out our thing anyway. We can kind of go via some of these on the way, can't we? So let's let's go and clear up this this argon space here. I think that's a good one to do. Uh, so that's going to be north west into boron space. Let's let's do that. Let's go and clear that one up first, and maybe we can go down through Atreus clouds as well and have a have a peek about. It might might be worth doing a recce of that area, just because. Let's do that. Right, off we go. <laughs> Let's see what we Yes, there's, there, uh, that was my freighter flying off doing its thing. I'm glad to see somebody no doing some work. Aim. No aim. I know. We do have an aim though. You see, the computer's just not being reasonable. And with our with our beta things, we can wipe out any pirates we come along. Target now locked. I do on fancy gate having a go at those two game. ships though. They're just too annoying. They, they deserve some death. Oh, it's a freighter. Just, just about to come past it before it gets there. Target now locked on. Pirate entering system. Teladi game. I love the way she says that still. Teladi game. Well, presumably that freighter is just about to pop through, so. Can I hang around and wait for it to appear? Um, it hasn't come through yet, so we'll leave Target it. now locked on. Right. Taladi Vulture. There's the gate. There. Okay. I think I do have a police license for all races, yeah. Um, remember to contact the first impostor of us, that's true, yes. No aim. I've forgotten about that. It just annoys them. There's one there, but let's get him. Target now locked on. Pirate ship. Oh, it's a Tanabi pirate. Excellent. 
Missing the Paranid license. Okay. Target is now in firing range. Autopilot off. Amazing shooting there by Drew. Oh, we'll get too fast. Oh, that's right, because I've upgraded my ship a bit, haven't I? <laughs> Two hundred credits. That was worth getting out of bed for, wasn't it? <laughs> that was the that was the uh, that was called the Drew maneuver. It's basically you'd shoot the ship quite a bit and then just ram it out of existence because it can't be bothered to switch your engines off. <laughs> and you've got super duper shields anyway, so. Or basically lack of skill, yeah. Because my ship is quite a bit fast, because we upgraded the, the engines with the pirate thingamajigs, didn't we? We spent a bit of money, but it's still not fast enough to deal with those pesky Target M2s, but it seems to be fast enough to outrun Fox most Fox. other stuff. Right, so let's go west. So I've got... <laughs> That's right, I've got a police license and a dirty cocktail. I'm a dirty cop. <laughs> right, so is this, is this Boron space? Uh, Menelaus Frontier it is, isn't it? So we want to go south here then. Let's use the turbo because... Turbo engaged. <laughs> Turbos are cool. Turbos are totally pointless, but hey, getting out of bed for you, yeah. <laughs> Why do people say they won't get out of bed for X amount of money when clearly on weekends they get out of bed for free? <laughs> yeah. Getting out of bed is a struggle though. It's first thing in the morning, it's nice and snuggly warm in your, in your bed and then it's cold outside. I like Douglas Adams' one on that one, is basically, this is there cosmically speaking, any reason why I should get out of bed this morning. Um, <laughs> because at the end, I mean, what are we, what, what are we, what are we doing? We're, we're, yeah, the heat to death of the universe is basically where it's all going to end up, regardless of what we do. Target okay. now locked uh, on, gate, profit, share. What's the point? Might as well just stay in bed for an extra 15 minutes. It's it's going to have no long-term consequences at all. Okay. When you <laughs> when you get old, there's an obvious reason for getting out of bed. Yes, there is, isn't there? Alas, unfortunately, there's also Entering that that does a, does does sometimes. I'm unfortunately profit share. That doesn't sound right. Where am I? Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Oh no, I hadn't got out of Talandi. I was in Buckside, though. I thought I was in Menelaus Frontier. I'm now in the wrong place. Mm. I've got to go back. Sorry, guys. Entering system, CEO's Buckside. I wasn't listening to the, the lady could be voice to think of where I was. To which my Trouble wife would say, <laughs> So you're not listening to her either, then? Bad trouble one of these days on one of these streams. <laughs> Fortunately, my wife never watches me ranting all about computer games online, so <laughs> reasonably safe. But doubtless, one day I'm going to get ratted out. <laughs> Did you hear what Drew said? <laughs> you should go to 1 minute 15. Uh, <laughs> it's outrageous. Ah, uh, dear. Does Drew have the boost seater extension? I, I, I don't know. Um, have I upgraded my weapons? No, we haven't got enough money yet, Scrub Ghost. So the thing is, we're going to do a bit of exploring today and, and try and finish as much of the map as possible. Um, whilst, <laughs> basically, while my dodgy drug cartel operation, my silicon farm, Target now my solar Gate power plant manufacturing thing, and whatever team. else I built in Argon space, which I can't remember now, um, is making cash. Yeah. So 
because I'm a total mercenary in this game. Uh, is it Shift J or Alt J? I don't, have I even got one? I don't remember. Did I buy one? Entering the system. Menelaus Frontier. Right, Menelaus Frontier. That's great. Right, let's have a quick look. Uh, that's that's the help. So ship information is S. So I've got four engine tunings. I have got the Singularity engine time accelerator, but that's an upgrade for that. Two beta E plasma throwers. So no, it doesn't look like I've got the thing. Well, now we need to go south. Target now. The minions do the hard money while making crucial focus. Be. It's pretty much that's pretty much where we're at now, isn't it? We just we just shoot people for sport. Fisher the barrel with this spaceship. Um, no aim. And then. Um, Yeah, so the, <laughs> the big catch is being made by the minions. Uh, allows you to boost in Cita, murder shields, but for faster. Okay. I don't know. Alt J? Shift J. Let's try it. Cita boost extension not installed. We haven't got one. Okay, where do we get that from then? We, we need to have all the stuffs. DJ Squibby has been to a supermarket far, far away. What about this? Well, DJ Squibby, we've got ourselves into drugs, basically, this morning. <laughs> There seems to be a lack of Zen on at the moment. You had to say that, didn't you, now, John Henry? Now one's turned up. Speed. And we've got the funky disco music playing. I can't... There it is. I can't stop. Target now locked on. Unknown Xenon ship. Let's get in. What is it? It's an M5. Target is now in firing range. That's a one shot with this thing. Wait till we're behind him. It's only a little one. It was. It was only a little one. Right, now we need to go south, south, Entering south. System. Should we do a quick recce then of the, the, uh, the, the Zedon system? I think we should. Target now locked on. War on Dolphin. Turbo engaged. I think I need to sample that turbo engaged and put it in my car. Oh, Target now locked on. Unknown Xenon ship. That's a class four. It's going to take more than one hit to hit kill. Autopilot autopilot activated. We thank you for your valuable assistance. As a reward, you get 500 credits. I remember when those were a challenge. <laughs> Back in the dimmest and past of this stream. You can buy the SATA boost in a few Argon systems, so we are heading for it. Okay, so maybe that's worth having just because it's a thing to have, right? Boom, yeah, we got that one. Target now locked on. Paranid Ganymede. The Paranid Gan Ganymede. <laughs> saying that. Oh, there was a pirate. Never mind. Um, Target now locked on. Paranid Ganymede. <laughs> I don't know. It's not one of those things that you wouldn't be able to say that if um, if you'd had a few beers, would you? The parodied gaminids. The gaminid pandemonid. <laughs> gaminid pandemonids. <laughs> the pandemonid. The pandemonid. The pandemonid. One of them. I can't even say it when I'm sober. <laughs> the parodied gaminids. <laughs> the Gaminid Paradids, one of them. Uh, what, what ship is it, sir? It's the Gaminid Paradids. <laughs> the, the what, sir? The Gaminid, the Gaminid Paradids. <laughs> the Gaminid Paradids. Target now locked on. Paranid Gaminid. <laughs> the Gaminid Paradids, one of them. <laughs> Target now locked on. Gate, Atreus, Cloud. <laughs> the cal the Calamon Oceans. <laughs> the Paranoid. The Paranoid. Entering paranoid system. Gaminoids. Atreus, Cloud. 
Right, Atreus Clouds. Right. Okay, let's try and let's try and be vaguely sensible. Uh, we are now down there in Atreus Clouds. Now the sector that we've actually got to go to is is the one directly ahead. So let's let's do a recce. But I think saving the game here Target might not be a bad on. idea. Have I had my space tea yet? No, alas. Luckily, Luigi. Hello, good to be to get see you. Um, beer before lunch. Yeah, no, you can't have beer before lunch. Is there a facility on the route to the gate that we could use? Should be. No aim. Uh, there's kind of one down there. Let's go there. The paranoid hemorrhoids. <laughs> Target now. That's what you get if you concentrate too much on your paranoid gaminoids. Oh, there's the train station. Yeah, let's go there. Good point. Target successfully docked. Queen Atreus and the Kingdom of Boron bid you a peaceful welcome. We are greatly honored that you wish to board the I like the spunky lights that they have. It's like a little planetarium show that they've got going on inside their space station, uh, which is quite nice. Connection to local trading network established. Right. Tower insurance. There we go. We are now there. Right. That just just in case something goes wrong, because it probably will. Things usually do, don't they? Turbo engaged. Let's have a little bit of turbo. Why that should reduce your shields, I have no idea. But that's that's the rules of space games. Oh, come on. Let's get away from the vicinity of the thingy and head to the gate. Right, we're gonna go south through the gate and have a recce, because somewhere in here is the power plant we've actually got to destroy. So it wouldn't, it's not necessarily a bad idea just to have a quick nosy about and see what we're up against. Well, at least that's, no <laughs> that's my idea anyway. Uh, <laughs> will that work? I don't know. I can see a Paranid there. Not a Paranid. It's not a Paranid Geminid. It's one of those pesky Zedons. Oh, it's disappeared. It's died. Target now locked on. Boron Eel. Turbo dump shield energy into the engines. Ah, okay. Well, that makes more sense, actually, doesn't it? Right, let's get that pirate because pirates. Do not disturb me. Well, sorry, Autopilot dude. activated. You're a pirate. Target is now in firing range. In the name of Queen Atreus and the Kingdom of Boron, we thank you for your valuable assistance. As a reward, you get 200 credits. Yay! 200 credits. Right, let's have a look. We're now in enemy territory again. Right, we Entering haven't been here before. System unidentified enemy sector. Right, here we go. <laughs> Don't disturb me. Okay, so this sector is full of target now locked on. <laughs> target now locked on. Bot. No aim. Oh, whatever it was, it's gone. Right, scanners up. Okay, so it's absolutely swarming with Xenons, which is probably not surprising. Um, are these big things there? Are these the power plants? So there's six of them. I can't even get close to seeing it. So presumably that's two M2 class ships there. Six power plants. Is that is that right? Six power plants. And we've got to destroy all of them. So clearly I'm not going to attempt that now. That's a, that's a lot. Not, that's quite a lot of power plants, isn't it? Okay, so let's 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 brave Sir Robin. Entering oh, there's, system. there's seven, were there? Okay. Clouds. Big but not moving. Okay, so let's basically try and take them out and then run away. Okay. All right, where are we where are we going next? Okay, so at least we know what that is. So that's the power plant zone. Um. Let's go across then and investigate the Argon space that we haven't been into. 
So that's two left, so two west to the north. Let's do that. Let's just com do some completest map. Two west to the north. Ooh. Turbo engaged. Seven Hornets should do it. Okay, so... To make my... Okay, where do I get the Hornet missiles from again? They were down in Paranids, weren't they? You need more than one Hornet per power plant. Okay. Now, if I, if I go in there and shoot something... We can carry ten Hornets, can't we? So that could... If we fire two at each power plant, that's five dealt with. Then we could go back and get some more hornets, potentially. So could we could we attempt that at the moment? You can take them out with the gammas, but not the beaters. The beaters aren't good enough to deal with them. Okay, so we could we could load up on hornet missiles. There's a space equipment dock in Antigo on Memorial. Okay. Target now locked that sells on. The safe Where do I get the hornets from again? Amec headquarters. They're down this way, aren't they? Were they were the paradigms sitting there? I can't remember. Hornets are bought from the paradigms. Yeah, I thought they were. Entering system, the hole. Amec headquarters. Okay, so this is the hole. So where's Antigon Memorial? Oh, Antigon Memorial is north. Okay, so we can go that way. Right, okay, so let's get the C to boosty thing. Just because that might be handy to have. Completionist, you know. Turbo engaged. The system's Paranid Prime and Emperor's Ridge sell Hornet missiles. How much are Hornet missiles each? Because we could stack up on those and then do a pre- Because we've got the shields, right? Even if the guns aren't good enough to deal with the power plants, we could do a, we could do we could do a bit of damage, couldn't we? If we've got seven of those things to take. Because they're only 6,000 credits each. Okay, so that's not outrageous. We've got the big shields. We've got some speed up stuff, so we could we could we could do a sneaky <laughs> a sneaky raid. I, I think that's quite a good idea. Let's go and get the cash from the other place in the meantime. Let's go and explore this sector. Let's get the C to boost thingy. And then I think we snock up on Hornet missiles and go shopping. <laughs> Target now locked on Gate Antigone Memorial. Antigone. Not Antigon then. <laughs> Antigone. That's a good name. I quite like that actually. Antigone. Entering systems of Antigone Memorial. I always say Antigon. Right, here we go. Okay, so Target ooh. now locked we've got, on we've got, unknown Xenon ship. We've got baddies. Target is now in firing range. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Target now locked on unknown Xenon ship. <laughs> on behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. Target is now target now locked on unknown Xenon ship. On behalf of our president and senator. This is Argon Federation thank you for your help with this invader. <laughs> right, so there's supposed to be a space equipment dock in here somewhere. Which one is it? Is that the space equipment dock? It's usually a square boxy thing, isn't it? Like most of the other things in this game are square boxy things, but... Is that it down there? Map shows it up and right from the centre. Because it should be... Is it that one? Target now locked on Argon Lifter. Scan the Argon Lifter. Scan the thing. 
Target now locked on. Argon Space Equipment Dock successfully docked. We want the SATA boost thingamajiggy. Have you got one? Connection to local right. trading network established. There we go. 88 grand. Ouch. Computer, tell me all about the SATA boost extension. In a complicated process, expert engineers will combine the advantage of the turbo boost engine with the Singularity Engine Time Accelerator, SATA. The expected result will be that your ship can constantly travel at turbo boost speed while still being in the tenfold time compression mode of CETA. Okay, so that sounds like it's worth having. Let's have one of them. CETA boost extension bought. Right, okay, well that was good. Uh, okay, so mosquito missiles, moss missiles, and silkworm missiles are of no use to us. Uh, right, so let's go west then. And explore the unknown zone. Turbo it's it's in a complicated process. The, I like the way it says the expected result. <laughs> so there's a, kind of implying there could be some bad, unexpected results. <laughs> right, let's give it a go. So how do we switch it on? Was it was it Shift J? Turbo engaged. Oh, turbo Cita. critical. <laughs> no aim. <laughs> it's just barely controllable. Okay, well that works quite well. It's quite dangerous Target though. Target now locked on. Eight speed. power circle. <laughs> Fortunately, the shields recharge quite quick. Oh, that will save us a bit of time getting around places, though, won't it? Okay, so that, that's 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 worth having, even if it's a bit unstable. Okay, so here we are. Power circle. Power circle, right? Okay, so we added this one to our list of. Oh, hello. There's some glowy red things over there. What's that? Is that the planet? Oh, it is. Look at that. The planet is a. Wow. What have they done there? Looks like they've blown the core of the planet out. That's really cool. Look at that. True is gonna go bad. <laughs> no, 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 light speed's not fast enough. Gotta go straight to ludicrous speed. We haven't got that fast before, sir. Okay, so they've they've basically, in a, in a, in a feat of amazing astronomical engineering, defying gravity and the laws of physics, they've managed to carve out half of the planet. By the way, journey to the center of the Earth. I don't know what they're doing there, um, but they're doing something very, very bad to that planet. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that was interesting. That's quite a cool. That's quite a cool little visual thing, though, isn't it? I can see a xenon. A couple of xenons, actually. Uh, right. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, let us then go south to Argon Prime, pick up our stuff, and then head into Paranid Space and get some missiles. Stand by to engage ludicrous mode. Engage. Engage. Shields critical. Oh, oh my seat sunk. <laughs> I got rid of the seat on the. I got rid of the squeak on the seat tool control. <laughs> it coming in hot. Target now locked on. Gate. Herons. Nebulas. <laughs> ah, it's almost uncontrollable. Entering system, Heron's Nebula. <laughs> engaged ludicrous mode. Ludicrous mode engaged. Turbo engaged. <laughs> it's actually really cool. <laughs> It's it's not very accurate. It's heading, is it? It's wobble around a bit. I'll hit something to you. 
Yeah, suppose I'm flying straight through this base lens. I need to be a bit careful of that, don't I? No, no. <laughs> Target now locked on unknown Xenon ship. The Xenon's about to think, what the hell was that? Oh, I've got a, a whole pack of Xeons. Target is now in fire. <laughs> I wasn't quite good enough to get rid of it. Oh, of our president and senator. Save the other ship. Thank you for your help with this invader. No aim. On behalf of our president and senator. The Argon Federation, thank you for your help with this invader. Target now locked on. Unknown Xenon ship. On behalf of our president and senator. That's what they meant for you. Federation, thank you for your help with this invader. Here's the gate. Turbo engaged. Engage turbo. Shields critical. Yeah, you got to be a Target little bit careful. Now locked you? on argon lifter. Because you might not have any shields. <laughs> and yeah, of course you ram something with those shields. That's not going to be good at high speed. Use with caution. Who wants caution? Let's make the fun. Entering it? system, Argon Prime. Argon Prime, right. I think I'm right in thinking. I've got a thing here. Somewhere. I can't remember what it was. Target I can't remember now locked what on my thing was. Argon Lifter. Was it that one? Was it a wheat farm? Must have had it must be a wheat farm I had down here somewhere. I have got a wheat farm, yeah. I can see some I can hear some 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 firing going on somewhere. Let, let's 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 take all the cash from the wheat farm. Target now locked on. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, we are honored to welcome you aboard the Argon Federation's space equipment. Oh that's the space I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Connection to local train. Where's my wheat farm? That must be over there. Oh, is it the one with the. It's the one with the. Um... Turbo engaged. Yeah, the corner's down by the south gate, isn't it? I don't know where my own stuff is. Is that my farm up there? No aim. Must be that one. That looks like a wee farm. Target now locked on wheat farm. Here we go. Successfully docked. Welcome back to your wheat farm. He was slightly disparaging there, doesn't it? Welcome back to your wheat farm. <laughs> Call this a wheat farm. <laughs> Right, okay, let's see how much casharoonies the wheat farm has made. Won't be as, won't be as lucrative as the uh, Connection the to local cartel. trading oh, it's not done too bad, is it? There we go. Oh, no, I'm doing it the wrong way. I put lots of money to the factory. Let's pinch all the money from the factory. There we go, let's leave it with 3,000. Yeah, okay, well, that's good. The credits that this factory <laughs> You'd freak out a bit by talking to so Welcome back to your so-called... <laughs> also credits from your good. account can be transferred to the factory. So freighters work... Right, good stuff. Let's go and get some missiles. Where are we going for missiles? We are going uh, into the Paranid space. So we need to kind of go south, south, west, south. And then we can do maybe a bit of exploration of the um, Paranid space while we're down there. Maybe, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll see some more parodied Gemonids. Because they're fun. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, wrong button. <laughs> Load of Engaged. 
shields critical. The target now locked on gate light home. <laughs> Entering system light home. The harvester does look suspicious like the same thing. Maybe it's just an undercover. Okay, so now we're in light home. We need to go south again, was it? My short term memory is terrible for maps and things. Right, we need to go, we're in light home, we need to go south one, west one. South, west, south. Let's do that. South, west, south. Everyone remember that? South, south, west, south. Target now locked on. Pirate ship. Turbo engaged. Let's hope we don't crash into anything. No aim. No aim, but incredibly high speed. <laughs> this is a jolly handy way of getting about, though, isn't it? Let's be honest. <laughs> there seems to be quite a lot of flashing red lights on the console there as well. is isn't interesting a vast amount of competence in, 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 in the entire proceedings. It can't be doing good things to the ship, surely. <laughs> Normal seater sounds feels really slow now, doesn't it? <laughs> That's the problem. How much faster is it? Is it basically twice as fast? Gate or belt. Okay, so or belt. Back in the day when all we had was the turbocharger. Wow. Entering system or belt. Number one time has arrived for Space T. Hey, thank you, dude. <laughs> Space T has arrived. This is in my amazing Shadewood mug, by the way. So, yeah, brief advert. There we go. Look, Shadewood, Shadewood Saga mug, um, which, is, which is very cool. Uh, right, I need to go west from here. Now the Space T has arrived, we're in good shape. Okay, so west we go. Space T is good. The more you upgrade the base speed at pirate bases, the less effective the boost extension becomes. Okay, so we probably don't want to upgrade it too much more. There's a lot of asteroids around in here. I don't fancy hitting one of those at boost speed. Although it does say all belts, so presumably it makes sense that there are asteroids in the all belt Target system. Target now locked on. I Asteroid. I think it's time for coffee. No, no, I've had the coffee. See, the way the way it works, the way the way Drew Wager works, is this is the first thing I have. I have a cup of tea, and uh, first thing in the morning. Then I have a glass of water with breakfast. And then usually a coffee to go after breakfast. And then space tea no arrives at about aim. 10 o'clock. Midstream refreshment, you see. Very important. Target now locked on. Gate, cloud base, southwest. Cloud base, southwest, right. Then in the afternoon, it's usually tea as well. I usually have about... Watch out for the gate. Uh, I usually have one coffee a day. Why is I find get cloud base to awake? Southwest. <laughs> Which may explain my general demeanour anyway. Um, yeah, so I, I tend to have a glass of water. Um, I just like a cup of tea first thing. So I tend to drink a bit of water during the day. Target now locked on. Water is quite dull ship. though, isn't it? That's that's the problem. That's a pirate there in the way. I'm sorry, dude. You chose the wrong trajectory today. Ooh, I think we're in high speed pursuit. Here we are. He's headed for the south gate. I think I can get him before he gets there. I can. Get lost. Closing off target. Get lost. Target is now in firing range. Do you want to rethink that, my friend? Nope. Die then. Oh, he missed. Oh, he's turning. Well, I can't be autopilot lead a little bit. Hello, <laughs> President and Senator. Hello, Hello Confederation. Hello. Thank you for your help with this invader. He's not really an invader, is he? He's just a kind of down at heels. Turbo engaged. Or trader, isn't he? Shields critical. Oh, hang on, I've got Xenons. I better cancel the the things. 
got a lot of Zen on thing. Target now locked on pirate ship. Um, first time chat from Sir BB Sir CB85. This is a blast of the past. I remember a time in the early zeros when this game for the noughties when this game was bundled into the CD of every second PC gaming magazine. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we're we're relatively late stage, I think, in this game at the moment, aren't we? This one looks like here I've got a pirate and some pesky devils. So we're 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 I think approaching the end game. Let's rid the world of the Zenons because it's important to do that. There's pirates and stuff all over the shop, aren't they? No aim. Oh, where are you? Target now locked on unknown Xenon ship. Exception of these guys because they're the baddies and they need they need sorting out. Target is now in firing range. Good night. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation, thank you for your help with this invader. To autopilot activated. Oh, that's a Mark IV. Oh, that's a Mark III. Come on, turn around. We've done, we've done our good turn for the day. There we go. I have coffee to get me to sleep at night, do you? The more caffeine I drink, the more I want to sleep. That's weird. Um, no aim. No, I can't drink coffee um, beyond about like, four or five o'clock because it keeps Emperor me awake at night. There's a, there's a pesky pirate there as well. Let's get him. Target now locked on pirate ship. Now, if the pirate ship's ever cottoned onto the fact that their exhausts are purple, I love that. Oh, he jumped. Target now locked on. Hopefully Gate he'll be in the next system. Mines. Yeah, try not to hit the station behind the ship. That's good advice. Entering system, Emperor Mines. Right, Emperor Mines. We're now at the south of Argon space. Where did that freighter go? Pirate ship disappeared. That's annoying. Oh no, there he is, there he is, there he is. Target Ooh. now locked on. Go away and get on someone else's nose. <laughs> Autopilot activated. Sorry, dude. You're too close. The other time to check out is, is, is nigh. Target is now in firing range. Good night. Oh, he's taking evasive maneuvers. Look at him, look at him doing that turn. Autopilot off. By the name of Priest Emperor Zar and Priest Duke. Space fuel. Space fuel? What was that? Pick up a police license while I'm in paranoid space. That's a good one. Where are we? Here's the map. Here's the amazing map by Big Boo. We are in... Are we in Emperor Mines now? We must be. Um, so we're down... Yeah, because we can only go east or north. It's like an old school adventure game. Do you want to go east or not? So we've got some space whiskey. Okay, so let's let's go to the trading station. It's probably a good idea to save the game here anyway. Because we've done quite a lot of travelling. X Games got missions. I mostly played them as Galactic. Yeah, so this game no, has got we have hey. got missions. We're trying to um, at the moment we're trying to deal with some power plants in Xenon space so we can activate, I think, a gate so we can try and get home to Earth or Target something. Target now you know, locked we're on actually trying to do. Baronid trading dock. Successfully done. Um, but yeah, no, we're, we're doing, doing missions, not just making money. We've got most of the upgrades for the ship at this point. We just haven't quite got the best super duper lasers, which is what we're kind of saving up for at the moment. But our current plan is to go and buy a stack load of missiles and then attack the Xenons with them. Which sounds like it could be fun. Or it could go disastrously wrong. Connection to local trading network. Okay, so we can buy quantum Major tubes. Made from the quantum tube sounds good. The oh, there's the apparently police license. Let's get that. Paranid police license bought. Okay, so not only am I a police officer After everywhere, I'm, license, I'm also a drug dealer. are accepted as police force by all space stations. And okay, so space fuel is illegal. Territory. So it's not actually space fuel. It's they are dodgy. It's, it's, it's moonshine. Is it? Of outlaunch. <laughs> <laughs> 
Cargo bay extension installed. Oh, I didn't want that. Your cargo Oops. bay will be extended. <laughs> I wanted the salvager joints. <laughs> Watch what you're buying, Drew. Just wasted some money on the cargo bay extension. Never mind. Salvage insurance allows. A right. So we've saved the game here. Uh, right. Where do I get the missiles? Where are the missiles? And we we want to explore these extra little bits of power in space which we haven't got to. So let's go there as well. East. East. We have to go. Turbo engaged. Engage the turbo because it's it's the 90s. Everything has to have a turbo on it. Um, even the seat to drive has to have the turbo engage. <laughs> Ludicrous speed. Shields critical. We're travelling at maximum power with no shields. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> no aim. Uh, love it. Target mm. now locked on. Gate Paranid Prime. <laughs> uh, the Paranid Sil Hormits. Okay, so where's the where's the equipment dock? Paranid Prime. Is that the next one? Entering system, Paranid Prime. Ta -da! There we go. Paranid Prime it is. Right, let's go. Let's go find the space equipment dog and fill up with mega missiles. Where is the space equipment dock? Uh, which one is it? Yeah, no, I should. Zalos, you're quite right. Um, Okay, so which one is this? Oh, I can never recognise these shapes. Should should do after all this time. That's still can't. Which one is the space equipment dock? Target now locked on soy farm gamma. Soy farm gamma. Oh, they all look different. They don't look different. Said is the empty circle. Okay, that one overhead. So over there somewhere. Let's not engage the super duper turbo. Okay. The Target now locked on. Paranid space equipment dock. No. Success. Right. Missiles. Dock. Missiles. That's a missile. Why do you need ten hornet missiles, sir? Space ah, well. Don't ask any questions, and I shall tell no lies. <laughs> right, so we're going to splash 60,000 credits on missiles now. There we go. Hornet missiles, six grand each. So, right, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten missiles. Hornet nice. missile installed. Uh, the Hornet class missile is the most powerful weapon known today. The gigantic resources needed to produce this monster also make it extremely expensive. It is not known if any ship currently carries these missiles. Well, it is now. Because <laughs> we got ten of them. It is November the 5th, actually. So this is a good day to fire some Hornet missiles, isn't it? Let's do that. <laughs> We're going to let the Ark... We're going to let the Zedons remember, remember the 5th of November. <laughs> right, how much time have I got? Wow, we, yeah, if we're going to do this attack, we need to kind of mosey on, don't we? Um, let's um, let's turbo engage. Let's get let's go through the other sectors, just because we can add them to the map. Where's the south? There it is. Turbo engage. Engage turbo. Shields critical. No aim. I can't see the gate. Where's the gate? Let's be there somewhere. It's up there. <laughs> really difficult to see. Target now locked on. Gate Empire's <laughs> Edge. I can't remember if I fired 9 or 10. <laughs> right, now we're going into uncharted territory. And then, then let's see what's around in here, shall we? Entering system Empire's Edge. Empire's Edge. Okay, so as predicted, there is only an east, which kind of makes sense. Target now locked on pirate ship. Oh, there's a pirate ship. Autopilot activated. Get the pirate ship. Because pirate ships are pirate ships. Not, not interested. 
Yeah, but that's not the point, my friend. We Auto are pilot interested. Off. By the name of Priest Emperor Azar and Priest Duke, we offer grateful thanks for your aid. As a reward, you get 200 credits. 200 credits? Totally worth getting out of bed. Cost me more than that to fire the guns! I'm going to remind them of a failed coup attempt. That's right, yeah. <laughs> well, it's fireworks night. It sounds like it should be a really, really good time to fire off our series of Horde missiles. Oh, look, there's some Xenons as well. Let's just ignore them. We haven't got time to deal with any pesky little Xenons we're doing. Right, now we're heading east, east. Now, just looking at the map, if I go east, I can go straight up through Xenon space, but that's pretty dangerous but it and then try and get to that sector below Atreus clouds uh, that's gonna be a dangerous run but let's let's do it anyway because we we, we like danger on this stream you know we we laugh in the face of danger we we tweak the nose of the dreadful spindly killer fish don't we that's what we do <laughs> and some sort of hat would seem to be in order <laughs> Target now locked on gate, Duke's domain. The Duke's domain. Ludicrous speed in Xenon space should be avoided. I think that's very, very wise. Let's not do any of that. <laughs> let's, let's, let's do a modicum of caution. Entering a system, modicum of Duke's just, domain. Just a, a dash, a dash of caution. Right, okay, so we have now completely mapped the bottom of the map. Um, Turbo engaged. Which is, which is an achievement. We've, we, that's something we've achieved. We've got some missiles. <laughs> I think it's probably worth me saving the game here, isn't it? Just in case this goes badly wrong. Can I, I can save any of these, can't I? I think... Xenons don't break for anybody, no, that's true. Then we've got to get two Xenon sectors across before we can get into the actual Xenon sector where we need to do that. So this isn't this isn't the stealthy way around, is it? We <laughs> are scanned it. by They're gonna see us coming. Dark. All hail the family chin. All hail the family chin. This is a solar power. Can I save here? Connection to local yes. trading network established. Alright, so we're saved. Right, now we go. Right, we're now going to head north. Turbo engaged. And hope this doesn't go badly wrong. <laughs> Operation this little end bat well last time you see, last time you were all very skeptical about my plan to run through Z on space. So this time I'm gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna all no do aim. the uh, the sneak attack. Okay, so we're gonna attack uh, covertly the Xenon sector with a power plant here by sneaking through Target Zenon space now itself. On. Gate, <laughs> that'll be the wings. last thing they'll be expecting. <laughs> Probably the last thing they'll be expecting is for us to turn into my skating mongooses and dance the bolero, but. Entering system, priest rings. <laughs> what sector am I in? Oh, hang on, I'm in priest rings. Where am I not far enough across? Yeah, no, I need to go across to priest pity. That's right. Oh, hang on a minute, did I not get. I don't think I went round the bottom far enough. I didn't, did I? Yeah, annoying. Hang on a minute. Let's go back and do that properly. We're not quite Entering far enough. Entering system. East. Duke's domain. I thought that was the far eastern one. It isn't. We can still go east one. So let's let's do that. Otherwise, we haven't explored all the exploration that needs to be explored. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's make sure we finish the job. Turbo engaged. Shields critical. <laughs> I'm gonna do this blindfold. That's the, that's the way to succeed. Right. Small chance of success. Possibility of certain death. Turbo engaged. What are we waiting for? 
Target now locked on. Gate, Emperor's Ridge. No missing him out. Right, okay, so this, this should be the last unexplored sector, right? Entering system, Emperor's Ridge. The Emperor's Ridge. Right, here we are in the Emperor's Ridge. Target now locked on. Paranid Ganymede. This <laughs> That's what the Paranid Ganymedes. Turbo the, engaged. Uh, Paranid Pacaminibs. <laughs> uh, Calamine Lucians. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I find that so no funny, but they do. It's just one of those things. Right, let's let's save here then. So at least we can come back if, if it all goes disastrously wrong. At least we'll be able to save. Right, so we've now explored the whole Target southern sector of the map. Target now on. Paranid space equipment successfully can we done. save here? Hopefully we can. Connection to local trading network oh, I can buy all the missiles here. That's useful. I don't, no, I can't. That's annoying. I can't save the game there, though. But I can buy... Engaged. Can't buy missiles. So that's actually quite handy potentially. Because we can we could restock with Hornet missiles from there. Oh yeah, go north. Sorry, yeah, I'm not I'm not on the border of um not on the border of Argon Space yet, am I? Duh. Yeah, good good tip there, Big Boo. Good point. Turbo yeah. engaged. Shields critical. So knowing there's a space oh. equipment dock down there is actually a good thing. It's not too far away. It depends how bad the run through Argon Space is, of course. Target now locked on. Paranid Ganymede. Target target now locked on. Gate. Priest's Pity. Priest's Pity. Okay, so there we go. Right, now we're at the bottom edge of Xenon Space. Entering system. Priest's Pity. Target now locked on. Paranid Ganymede. Let's go turn that one there, shall we? That's the Paranid Ganymede again. <laughs> Paranid Hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoid Calabine. <laughs> right, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, we're going to save the game here. When you have a Paranid by the Ganymedes, their hearts and minds will follow. <laughs> Nail his colours to the mast. No, 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 no. Nail his trousers to the mast. Then he can't climb down. <laughs> no aim. Let's get to whatever this is. Save the game there. And then we do our dashing run. To the last half an hour of the stream. On Alpha PAC Laser Forge. Alpha. There's a laser forge. Does the laser forge just allow us to save? Come on. Connection to local yes. trading network. Right, we're going to save the game there. And now we are going to do an ill advised run through Argon Turbo Space. Engaged. No, not Argon Space. Uh, Xenon Space. Far more dangerous, noble gas. Okay, so fingers crossed this Shield works. Critical. I think we won't use the ludicrous speed. I think that might be a bad idea. Let's just see how badly this works. No aim. Here we go. Target now locked on. Gate unidentified enemy sector. Bum, bum, bum. Unidentified enemy sector. Right, we've got to get clear two sectors to get to the sector where we're actually going to need to do some damage. Entering system. So I'm just going to go north. Enemy yeah. sector. So we need to head north now. Okay, so let's have a quick Target look. Now locked on. It's not too Four busy right Dolphin. here. So let's let's go west a bit. Because 
Starship is reasonably fast. It's the M2s that are still pissed and irritating. But if we avoid the main traffic route there, then we should be able to snow in. Aim. And it might be a bit of an anticlimax. Let's try that. Now we us go. It doesn't quite do it for me as battle music. <laughs> it's sort of a space alien disco jive, isn't it? <laughs> Which I wouldn't have thought was in vogue in the 90s, actually. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what the inspiration behind this piece of music is. Uh, right, we might have to engage with one zone on ship here to get to the north gate, but we're doing, we're doing pretty well, actually. Let's just cross the galactic plane. <laughs> Let's reset our course over to the gate. There we go. No, we're looking good. We're looking good. We got through one Xenon. This is the Xenon disco sector. Do, do. Normally we don't get to hear this much of the music, actually, do we? Oh, no, of course we're down there. Target now locked on. Gate unidentified. And There's another freighter set. there that made the run as well. Hostile zones. Right, okay, so we've made it. There we go. One more sector to cross. <laughs> Nobody knows what the station is. Maybe it's the DJ booth. That's where the music is. Unidentified enemy sector. Okay, we're now deep in the heart of Zenon territory. What have we got in this one? Okay, so this one's the opposite. So let's. <laughs> Let's go east instead. Um, works for me. Turbo engaged. Seem to be less Xenons about today. So they've detected us, but they can't keep up with us anymore. Which is good. So we're hopefully going to do some damage then to the to the Xenons on the 5th of November. <laughs> right, let's turn around. Head north now. Engage. There's that super duper centrally thing over there, which we're not going to attack, obviously, at the moment. Even with our amazing set of all heavy souls. <laughs> Zelos Corvus says, it does not seem to be many about today. <laughs> Famous last words for the Celestial Warrior. Yes, it's my Celestial Warrior, by the way. I am the Celestial Warrior. I was awarded. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got something intercepting me. Um, I don't know what those are. I have seen those before. Alert. Rocket closing. Yeah, we're not concerned about some pesky rockets. Oh, maybe we are. Let's run for the gate. We've got what look like... Yeah, they're M2s on us now. Oh, it ran me! <laughs> I hate it when they do that. <laughs> I did buy them five after all. Ah! <laughs> That's just. There doesn't seem to be a great deal you can do about the M3s ramming you out of existence. Which is annoying. Turbo engaged. <laughs> that sector does have a lot of M2s, yeah. But there's not much you can do about them because you can't fight them. You can't outrun them. So we're going to have to try that again. I, I kind of figure that might happen. Whether this, you know, can we get through this sector or not is, is the thing. Shields thing. critical. Um, Turbo engaged. <laughs> Zen on the time stop for no man. Yeah, there's a lot of M2s in that sector. So maybe, maybe the strategy won't work. No aim. I was hoping we could sneak through, but... We got through the first one, okay. Let's try again. It doesn't work. It doesn't Target work. now <laughs> locked on. Gate doing our best. Unidentified enemy sector. It's a long way round, otherwise, though, isn't it? You can get through, maybe not in Cita. Yeah, so maybe, maybe I have to fly it manually. Let's try that this time. Let's be a bit more cautious, not just stick in the Cita drive. Because I can't, obviously, can't react in Cita, can I? Entering system. Unidentified enemy sector. All right. So this one, we should be going west. To avoid. 
There are a few M3s about, but they're not too many. So let's let's run away. Turbo engaged. Them. Try and stay out of range of as many Xenons as possible. And in the next one, we'll we'll seat her up until the time the M2s get close, and then we'll have to use the <laughs> one sort has drewed it, and then I was educated. <laughs> best. Okay, so we're making reasonable progress there. Now let's go normal. Hope, hope the M2s don't come across, basically, is, is the issue, isn't it? Because those M2s are just a faff. <laughs> it's just too fast. Music today. Is that because the Xenons aren't close by? Oh, I can see them too on the edge of my scanner there. Which looks like. Is it headed in my direction? Has it detected me? Maybe not. The other ones aren't fast enough. Let's make a run for the gate. Hopefully it's got bigger fish to fry than the, just a just little me. Looks like it's Target now locked on. Gate unidentified. Oh, Enemy oh, here it comes. It's, it's coming in. Turbo engaged. Let's see if we can have that a little bit. Don't want to go down too fast. It's sitting behind me now. Leave me alone. Alright, okay, we made the first. <laughs> I hate the way they do that. Some of that. Away! Turbo engaged. Okay, right, we're into the next sector again. Entering now, system unidentified enemy sector. sector. Okay, so it's like super, they're right over there by the west gate, so let's see if we can Turbo get engaged. away from them again by heading as far east as possible. Let's keep an eye on the scanner this time though, in case of those sneaky M2s sneak up on us. Look, there come the small fry. They can't keep up with us. So unless they radio their position, my position to their big buddies, then maybe I can get away with it this time. Because they're all, rather stupidly, they <laughs> They, they follow me around, they don't try and intercept me. <laughs> so they, again, the AI isn't being very clever here, is it? Okay, so so far this is looking quite good. Let's head that way. Bum, 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 bum. The tension mounts. And Drew made it through Zeldon space. With his, with his, with his missiles. Looking good this time. Yes, the oh hang on there's one. They've detected us, now they're closing in. That doesn't look good, does it? Look at the state of that. Okay. I'm gonna have to cut out on that point. Yep. They're all heading for us. It's a long way to the gate at sublight speed. Where is the gate? Let's try and evade. <laughs> There's not much I can do though, really, is there? Just go away. I'm trying to, trying to dodge. 
It's a long way to the gate, though. It's not even in scanner range yet. <laughs> Part of me wants to just see if Lydia Screen will outrun them. Yeah, that's that's a risky... That's, a, that's, that's an option of last resort, isn't it? Oh, hang on. The M2 is off the screen. Let's, let's engage C to drive. Can we make it? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here it comes again. No, it's bouncing off. No, we'll come again. <laughs> Run! Maximum up. <laughs> We're quite close to the gate. We're not in scanner range yet, but we are getting there. <laughs> Engage Ludicrous. No, it'll, it'll go wrong. Ludicrous will go wrong. I'm not, now, not with eight kilometers to go. I'm not running that risk. We can make this. We can make this. Alert. Rocket closing. Oh, we've got a rocket on our tail. I don't think there's much I can do about the rockets. Alert! Rocket closing. Bang. Five kilometers to go. We're almost there. Two rockets, but they're not firing enough stuff at us to. Alert! Rocket closing. Still rockets at us. Can we shoot those rockets down? Oh, they're too much of a threat. Too tense for a Saturday morning. <laughs> We're almost there. Two kilometers to go. Can we make it? Ooh, that's some green stuff being fired at us. Bang. Doesn't do enough damage to the shields, fortunately. Right, we're there. We are there. We've made it. Yes. Right, so now we're entering the sector whereby the targets are. Right, let's let's do some damage. It's time. It's enemy time to take the fight back to the Zelda. Yes, right. Okay, so this could be fun. Right, so those are the targets, so they're directly ahead of us. At least one of them is. Let's let's go do some damage. First one is that one down there, I'm guessing. How close do we have to be to fire these things? Target now locked on solar power plant gamma. Okay, so that's a power plant, right? So missile. Hornet missile ready. How close? And they can get shot down. Okay, so let's let's go to point blank range. Dun dun dun! Closing on target. <laughs> Stay on target. Stay on target. <laughs> Is this going to be a decent explosion? That's the other question because <laughs> the low mark has been frontier first encounters, the least impressive space explosion ever. What are we going to achieve here today with? All um, right, launch. Missile away. Target is now in firing range. Oh. Attention, energy low. Boom! Where well, we managed to destroy it. That was one Hornet missile and a bit of a blast from from the, that wasn't a bad explosion. Target that was, now that was right. on solar power plant Alpha. So we can do this today. We can do this today. Missile. Hornet missile ready. Launched. Missile away. <laughs> this is quite clicky. This is good. <gasps> Target is now in firing range. Boom. Have some of that. Attention. Yes! <laughs> right, where's the next one? <laughs> Engage. Maximum warp. <laughs> with a bit of luck, we're going to be able to do this today. Target now locked on. I say with a Solar bit of luck. power plant beta. Right, two down, five Hornet to go. Missile ready. Oh, that missile is ready. Stand by to fire. One would have thought they would have noticed me by now. <laughs> it's all the way. Target 
Target is now in firing range. The beaters are serving us well one last time. Attention, energy low. Boom. Next. I like the way they're totally undefended. There's a couple of Target M2s by the north on. gate. Okay, we're, we're going to have to bear that in mind. All right, three down, four to go. Target is now in firing range. Attention, energy low. Boom. All right, how are we doing? Next one is... Yes. Did we check under the target for hedgehogs? Target now locked on. Solar power plant. A ten. Hornet missile ready. Let me all the way. Target is now in firing range. Attention, energy low. <laughs> Engage. These in on <laughs> they have noticed you. Excellent. Well, I would have expected them to notice me <laughs> blowing up. How many have I done? Have I done five now? Here we come. Now we've got an M2 closing on target. Coming to investigate. They have noticed me now. Target now locked on. Solar power plant. Epsilon. It's shooting at me. Turbo engaged. Doesn't want me to destroy his power plant, which is which is fair enough, really, isn't it? You could try to blow them up. I could, couldn't I? Yes. I've got three spare hornets, haven't I? I think we should try and kill an M2. <laughs> I, I want to kill an M2. I do. I so want to kill an M2. But let's kill. Let's, let's ensure we get these things first. That's more important. Turbo engaged. Alert. Rocket closing. Almost in firing range. They must know what I'm up to by now, surely. <laughs> missile. Hornet missile ready. Fire away. Target is now in firing range. Boom! <laughs> That's really good. Dragonfly missile self-destructed. Oh, hey. There's one. There's one left. I've only got one left. It's over there somewhere. Where is it? Oh my god, I see it. it. Must be up there. There it is. Engage. Target now locked Six on. Six kilometers away, and I've got an two all over me. Delta. I've got one last, one last thing to destroy. Dum 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 dum. <laughs> I've got the entire Zenon fleet on me, by the look of it. I think this. I think we should attempt an entire wipeout of the Zenon sector. What do you think? <laughs> the spare missile. So actually, it looks like the Gammas can actually do. A, the, the Betas can do a bit of bit of actual damage here. Um, Turbo engaged. Can I destroy them with just the? Let's just see, because if I could save two missiles. That would be really cool. Then the M2s won't stand a chance. Let's just see. Target is now in firing range. How much damage can the beaters actually do? They can do quite a lot. Attention. You can actually take Attention. them out. Yeah, so I didn't even need the Hornet missile. Look. Boom. Right. Target is now target now locked on. Unknown Xenon ship. Yeah, so you can Target actually. now locked on. Unknown Xenon ship. The Turbo problem is, engaged. I can't catch the, these M2s. 
once you take out the stations. Yeah, so it's probably a good idea for me to save. Shall we get the shall we get out of dodge, actually? Yeah, so we need to make a run for the north gate, don't we? The Hornets won't catch the M2s. I guess that's not going to work. Let's see if we can get out of dodge then. Alert! Rocket closing. How far is it to the north gate? The long way. Let's get out of here. We've we've destroyed all the power plants. We have done. We have destroyed all the power plants. Yes. Let's see if we can get out of dodge. Out. Alert! <laughs> Rocket closing. Yeah. Are these space bombs? Attention, energy low. Alert, rocket closing. I've got to get out of here now. <laughs> this is the next challenge. Bang! There's too many of these wretched M3, M2s. Mosquito missile self destructed. Oh, it's a long way to that gate. These M2s coming in at crazy speeds. Alert! Market <laughs> closing. Attention, energy low. <laughs> I hate those things. I so want to kill an M2 ship. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Target is now in firing range. Dragonfly missile self-destructed. Alert! Rocket closing. Target. Attention. Alert. Rocket closing. Did a bit of damage to it, but just not enough. Target left firing range. Ow. Stop blowing holes in my ship. Alert. Rocket <laughs> closing. Target is now target. <laughs> Alert. Rocket oh, I closing. Almost killed it. Oh, I thought it had a bit more guns. Alert. Rocket closing. Target left firing range. Run. Target now Run again. locked on. Argon discoverer. Alert. Rocket <laughs> closing. Let's <laughs> get the stick out of here. Bang. Oh, this is so <laughs> this is so ridiculously stressful at the moment. It's still him twos. <sighs> Target now. Is forward on. now. They are all over me. Oh, we've got eight kilometers to go. Can <laughs> we make it? Yeah. So I what I should have done. Alert! Just... Rocket closing. Dragonfly missile. Attention. Energy low. <laughs> this is not the time for ludicrous speed. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Shields. Target now locked on. Gate Atreus Cloud. Oh, we're at five kilometers to go. We're still running. Ah, I've still got four of the wretched things all over me. No! Maybe I was doing something wrong, but um, <laughs> that's why you need friends with you. They can't just focus on you as a sole target. Oh, that was that was mean. That was mean. <sighs> Big up, exhausted and depressed. We were so close. <laughs> Five kilometers from the gate, and they ran me out of existence. It's all going so well. Well, the plan worked. It would have been good to have some escorts. That's, that's a good point. Um, I wonder if it's worth trying that again. I know, five kilometres. I know. <laughs> I might try that again. Um, but I don't think I've got the energy to do it again now. 
I suppose the same thing happened to Guy Fawkes. So it's probably, yeah, maybe that's it. <sighs> that was hard work. That was hard work. I think we'll try that again next week, though. And if it doesn't work then, then we, well, maybe we have to rethink the, the strategy. Because um, it kind of, it, we were almost there. I feel that with a, with a tiny little bit more luck, that would have worked. So we'll pray to the stream gods to... <laughs> give us a little bit more luck I haven't got time to do it now though so I will call a slightly early end to the stream in that case my friends so <laughs> just let my heart rate go back down again <laughs> um, and we will attempt that again next week we'll see how it goes um, and um, we'll, we'll carry on there but we have done a bit of exploration we achieved a few things we did actually destroy everything which we're not going to get to get credit for it because we're going to have to go back and do it again because we couldn't save. But um, never mind. There we go. That's 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 that is that is online gaming. That is the way these games are. Sometimes it's cruel to be kind. But it was a good stream anyway. Thank you very much for your company, my friends. Be good. Um, have a fantastic weekend ahead. Look after yourselves, and I will see you anon. Um, take care, my friends. Have a fantastic weekend. See you soon, Retro Commanders. All the best. Bye bye now. Ha, ha, ha.